Hi guys, welcome to another great episode of Unpacked with me, Belinda Pofu. In studio today, I have my heart. Please introduce yourself to those who don't know who you are. Um, I don't know where to start. I'm not sure how you want me to introduce myself because I, I guess I'll just use everything. Yeah. My name is Atandiwe. Um, I also go by the stage name Amara Fleur, so I'm a singer songwriter and I do other things in between and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's you. That's me. I want to talk about love. I know you had a song like way back when, maybe not that way back when, but yeah, it's called been long. <laughs> um, titled Self Love. Mm-hmm. Nah. For me, this topic is so. Um, I feel like people like to think that they have this whole self-love thing figured out. You know, you see people in the gym, self-love. Yeah. Eating carrots. Self-love. You know. Just got a haircut. Self-love. Right. Shopping. (laughs) Self-love. Painting your nails. (laughs) And it's like, it's not that... I don't think that's what it is. And I feel like I'm at a place where I'm still trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you have figured it out? Like when you okay when you wrote that song, yeah. where were you with your self love journey? Am I allowed to swear? Yes. Fuck no. I do not know yeah. what it is. I know the concept of self love. I understand that it is something that is possible. Mm-hmm. I understand that it is it is something that we need. Yeah. But the the nitty gritty of it, like the very small elements that make it up, um. I don't have that figured out and I don't think I will for a very long time. I might die not 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 knowing, mm-hmm. sorry, um what it means to fully self love and I don't think we all have it figured out. I think even, you know, our mothers are still finding themselves because yeah. every single day, let alone every single year, we are learning new things about ourselves. We are going through different journeys. We're going through so many things that completely shift um the, the the course of your self love journey. So you think at twenty three you're like, oh, okay, I figured out that um, niggas ain't shit, or um, oh, at, at this age I figured yeah. out. You know, yes, there are little things that you figure out, but the next phase of your life will teach you new things. So you're constantly learning the act of self love. I feel like I'm constantly learning the act of self love, and I yeah. still struggle quite a bit. But when I wrote that song. I think I had just turned 21, 22. I was still really young. Mm-hmm. And um, it was really important for me at the time to understand myself. You know, um, I had gone through so many different things where I really did not know who I was. Um, and that song was just a reminder that's why the lyrics are quite they're not extremely direct in the sense that it speaks of a specific topic Mm -hmm. or specific journey of self-love it's just like the general understanding of self-love um and 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 basically remembering that all you have is yourself at the end of the day like you need to be your own hype woman um or hype man um so that song is just like the benchmark. It's, it just reminds me that there is a thing called self-love and I should remember it. And as I move through life, I need to know that I can look after myself. On the topic of your music now, Ne, mm-hmm. you like mentioned that the reason as to why you kind of go quiet for a bit and then you release new music and then you go quiet is because of obviously your travels and you know you kind of really want your music to sound no like you're not rushing yourself yeah, at yeah. the end of the day um is that the only reason as to why um you kind of i wouldn't say took a break mm-hmm. but just mm-hmm. like sat for a while and focused on other things it's actually not the yeah. only reason um as you know i had a son uh, i was finishing varsity and stuff and i just had a lot of things that were immediate in my perspective that I had to just that I had to deal with mm-hmm. um, and it's kind of like it's cool 
but it sucks at the same time because I think it really detached me from my music at a time where I was like ready to go. Like yeah. I was just going, 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 going. And getting back into the swing of things is a little bit difficult because I'm trying to find my place again and I'm also trying to um, just make sure it sounds really great yeah. whatever I put out because you can't go quiet for like two years and then come back and, come back and it's some like how mediocre shit like people are this just like you should have just stayed yeah. wherever you were you should have stayed gone yes yeah, like why did you come back yeah. it just you know so you just want to make it right are you working on any new music I am you are I am like why I genuinely you tell am me? oh my gosh girl because it was a surprise I that wanted to be so like cool. listen to this so yeah I'm working on wow. new on new music I'm in the writing stage I've been in the writing stage for yeah. a couple of years actually so I've written a bunch of songs and just you know pushed them to the side because I don't like them or I just felt like yeah. it wasn't th- the time for those songs yet and I've also picked songs that are older and brought them back mm-hmm. and been like okay I think this is this is ready to be refined yeah. so it's a never ending process but I think now I'm at a stage where I might have something good before the end of this year so but yeah, I'm so glad you came. Thank it was you. good talking to you. It was so good. Uh, before I forget, where can people find you on social media? You can find me Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, all at Amara Fleur at A M A R A F L E U R. You might have to replay replay that. But yeah, I tried to spell it as slow okay. as I could. But thankfully, I don't have any underscores or like numbers or anything. Yeah. You'll just type that one thing in and that's it. And same thing on SoundCloud. SoundCloud, everywhere that you can find me on social media, it's the same handle. So please find me, um, chat to me. I'm generally very nice. Unless you're saying creepy things, then I'm probably not going to respond and I'm going to block you. Um, <laughs> but other than that, always happy to chat. Um, I love talking to people who who listen to yeah. my music. I care about them a lot because um, they care about me. You've taken the time to listen to what I have to say, um, so it's only fair that I take the same time to yeah. do that. So yeah, cool. <laughs> you guys so much for joining us until next time bye bye